local sports from KTVO. Good evening, everybody. Let's start on the softball field. It's a big conference game for Cooksville and Moberly. First inning action. Cooksville came out swinging. Haley Phillips will triple off the fence in right center field. Later on in the inning, Phillips and Kelsey J.Q. scored on a double by Bethany Fountain. The Tigers, Macy Rogers, threw a one-hitter. Kirksville wins it 10 to nothing. In other games, Schuyler County defeated Putnam County 10 to 1. Knox County clobbered North Shelby 11 to 1. In high school volleyball, it's a tumble on the rod against Mount Pleasant. Check this out. Great kill by Peyton Crosser. A tumble would go on to win it 25-12, 25-22, and 25-15. The Kirksville volleyball team beat Trenton 2 to nothing. Holy Trinity beat Central Lee 3 to nothing. The Kirksville boys soccer team beat Fatima 2 to 1, and the Kirksville girls tennis team lost to Palmyra 7 to 2. In college basketball, Indian Hills has been named the preseason number 1 team in junior college basketball by the Sporting News. The University of Iowa has received some good news 7-1 center Adam Woodley says he's coming to Iowa City finally some good news for the Hawkeyes in high school football tomorrow night Kirksville will be looking for its second win in as many weeks as they host Boonville the 2011 Tigers have more swagger than the guy on the Old Spice ads and it shows in the way they play these guys have been with me long enough that they know what we're doing is working and they're confident in what we're doing and what they're doing as athletes. And so um, when they have that confidence, they go out and execute and that makes them half a step faster. And sometimes that's the difference between a pick and a, and a touchdown. Talk about turnarounds. If Knox County beats Fayette Friday, the Eagles will match last year's win total after only four games. We have an opportunity to have a good record, but we got to remember that uh, having a bad season is only a uh, a couple guys not uh, working like they need to be, so we're really focusing on improving, and uh, if the guys keep on doing what they need to do, then our record will improve from last year. Since John Dabney's been at Milan, his teams have never started 4-0. It could happen tomorrow against North Shelby, but it's a team that Milan has had problems with, so expect the Wildcats to come out focused. Our senior leadership never even had to remind them about uh, uh, being focused this week and uh, usually big wins lead to huge letdowns and that's not going to happen and we're going to make sure we try to keep from that. Atumwa will be home tomorrow to face North. Both teams are 0-4 in the year. Atumwa is averaging 15 points a game while the Polar Bears have only scored 7 points all year. Centerville travels to Mount Pleasant tomorrow. A fast start for the Big Reds just might be the most important thing they need come out and be ready to play the first quarter. Uh, the last two games against Davis County and Oskaloosa, it's gotten away from us uh, from the standpoint uh, Davis County scored on the second play of the ball game and Oski scored on the first play of the ball game. So if we can get to the third or fourth play of the ball game before somebody scores, we might be in it. 